And the acolyte Leslie Helen tells a story about two evil twin girls that lecture Jedi and then kill Jedi and still expects the audience to sympathize with these two psycho girls when in fact the Jedi, even though really horribly written, did nothing wrong in the show. Gone are the days of morality and myth and even fun in Star Wars. This show is anti-Star Wars. Let's get into this review. This is gonna have spoilers, so just to let you know, but I'm probably actually saving you from watching this atrocity. So just to antagonize the Jedi more here, we have a senator here, character that just hates the Jedi and even like just with some bad dialogue says, one day there's gonna be a Jedi that just snaps and it's just really cringy dialogue, a little bit too on the nose. And also right here, how is it possible that this senator knows all this information and the story here has not made us aware that Yoda and the High Council know about what's going on? Spoiler warning, at the very end of the episode, Yoda shows up, or this this Jedi chick, green chick, I already forgot her name, goes and meets up with Yoda, and it cuts off there. But apparently she's about to tell him everything that happened. Uh, at least that's what's implied. And how is Yoda, with uh, the great knowledge and, and uh, ability with the Force, not able to sense all of this craziness that's been happening, and especially the uh, darkness that's coming from this emo Sith guy. And another spoiler the warning we see plagues in here it's just the whole thing is uh really ridiculous how is yoda not able to sense all this how is yoda not aware of this how is the jedi council not aware of this obviously leslie helen wants to write her own little side canon that's actually just uh breaking canon with the prequel trilogy george lucas's story that began in the phantom menace and then probably the shot where it just shows Leslie Helen's arrogance here and ignorance also because she doesn't even like care about canon or anything like that. And her trying to put her footprint here by adding Plagueis and he just shows up all creepily like some kind of like like weird horror monster here. This doesn't feel like a great moment where this legendary Sith character that trained the Emperor Palpatine is portrayed in a better way. No, he's just kind of this creepy, almost zombie looking creature behind this rock. It's ridiculous. Great, more bad lightsaber choreography here for us here. A uh, rematch of their duel from I believe episode seven. Uh, and then we have also fast forward here, a girl boss fight here with these two. Uh, very cringe girl boss fight. And in this moment, he defeated emo Sith guy here, but no, it takes the little five foot girl right here to take away his lightsaber like nothing. Girl boss here, little girl defeats the super trained Jedi here who defeated the emo trained Sith guy here. That's how it is in Disney Star Wars. This is the worst moment in the show right here. Just the whole season here is the twin this twin goes bad then go then goes good and bad and then th the same thing again right here and the worst the worst thing about this is that Saul did the right thing killing this witch mother she turned into a demon looking ghost smoke thing that was also dematerializing the girl uh, i believe it was uh may and Saul reacted the right way in igniting his lightsaber to this threatening looking smoke demon thing that was coming out right there and killing the mother from hurting the girl. He was trying to save the girl. He didn't do anything wrong, but Leslie's Helen's way of writing here with her gray immorality crap here and just making the Jedi look bad. And now she wants us to feel bad for Osha and May and root for them. So did the right thing, but the show at the same time wants us to root for these evil girls that have killed Jedi. This is just garbage. None of this is Star Wars whatsoever. This is the antithesis of what George Lucas built. And another stupid moment here. Look, the crystal bleeding thing was created after 2012 when Disney bought Star Wars. It was created for in 2016 for the Ahsoka novel, this idea of bleeding the crystal, and I think also for the Vader comic. If we didn't see it in Revenge of the Sith with George Lucas when Anakin became, went to the dark side and his lightsaber was still blue, it's because George Lucas would never add something as stupid as this, which was created for uh, Disney Star Wars EU. Uh, the, 
George Lucas did not add this thing because it's ridiculous. The idea for this in the EU either way is that it was almost a ritual that it takes time. The individual has to put all this hate into it until it happens. It's not as instantaneous as we see here. So they can't even honor their own continuity and their own crappy Disney Star Wars expanded universe. They don't even they can't even honor that. They do it all just just mediocrely and half ass and it looks really bad and cartoonish. This is Disney Star Wars for you. And suddenly these two are off on an adventure. Yay, yippee. You know, like Anakin said, they're just off and happy and bonding and everything like that. And we're supposed to be following them as the protagonist and rooting for them. After they killed the Jedi for doing the right thing years ago. After they killed all these Jedi because they hurt their feelings long ago. When they're actually saving their lives from evil space witches. This, show, this is all just a bunch of garbage. The Force is now able to erase one's mind just in the quick of a little hand gesture mind wiped forever for good this is ridiculous this is just like amateur writing this isn't even amateur writing this is somebody who didn't even go finish like their first draft of writing this crap this needed to go through like a hundred drafts a million drafts for it to be any good and probably one of the worst moments here is that they make so look bad when he was doing the right thing they lie about what he did. They, it's a cover-up of a cover-up as well. They said that he committed suicide. And so the whole thing makes all the Jedi look bad here. It makes Soul look bad. It makes this bitch look bad. It makes everybody look bad. The Jedi are liars. They're murderers. Like, this is just ridiculous. This is not what the Jedi are like. Once a Jedi does any of this... You're falling down the dark side. If any of these Jedi did this in George Lucas' Star Wars, they would already be going towards the dark side. They even wouldn't be Jedi. And all the higher-ups would be notified and would find out very quickly about all these Jedi breaking the rules and being just corrupt and just reckless. They would be booted out of the Jedi Temple for lying and covering up things like this and not being transparent with the Republic. This whole thing is a farce. This is just canon breaking in so many ways. And it, this is just an amateur writer, a really bad. This show also proves that the people behind this are bad people. They they want us to just not care about Soul's intentions in saving the girls. Even though Soul is a horribly written character, at least he cared about them in a weird way. They almost made him really creepy too, but he still cared about them and trying to save their lives. And he's still put on trial by these characters that are essentially evil. And the audience wants us to follow these characters and side with them and agree with them that Soul was wrong. And anybody with the brain understands that that's not true. That's not right. Soul was right. And these people are evil. And these are made the protagonists and the ones that we're supposed to follow and sympathize with. This show is just a bunch of twisted crap that is not Star Wars. And of course, the final here nail in the coffin for this franchise and this show and everything like that is this shot where it's just her trying to basically say, hey, I'm trying to write, I'm using these characters to lie, these Jedi characters, George Lucas' heroes to lie so that when we get to the Phantom Menace, Yoda and the High Council do not know anything about what happens in the Acolyte. Because my show is so badly written I'm going to do all I'm going to actually antagonize the Jedi by doing this because my show is so badly written compared to George Lucas's story. This whole Leslie Helen is a nutcase and Kathleen Kennedy needs to get fired for letting this bitch write this and produce this show. Bob Iger needs to hold Kathleen Kennedy accountable for letting her give these projects to these insane people. And this is just a this shot right here after everything that happened in these eight episodes is a middle finger to George Lucas. It's saying my it's saying my story fits within the Phantom Menace's story, but I have to make the Jedi look bad. I have to make the Jedi look bad for my story to fit in George Lucas's story. I have to make the Jedi look bad. Fuck off, man. Fuck off, Leslie Helen. Fuck off, Lucasfilm. This is not Star Wars. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. In the meantime, I'll see you guys next time.